Hey, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to share how you can do this. And we're going to do it using AI. So we're going to be using ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly is an AI tool similar to Midjourney, but doesn't get a lot of recognition. So I wanted to showcase how you can use their new feature, the style structure and style references to create different images, but using the same model. So let me show you how it's done. So the first thing is we're going to go to Adobe Firefly and we're just going to enter a uh, just a generic prompt here. So I'm just going to enter this prompt, which is red airplane toy made with felt stitch clouds blue background. So then I'm going to click on generate and then Adobe Firefly is going to generate this image. Now, the cool thing about this is it's going to give us basically a base model to run with. So essentially, I have this red airplane um, image that we can base our reference from. So this is pretty cool, right? So we have these images that were generated for us. We can select the different styles that we want. But the cool thing now is that in here on the left hand side, you can actually add a reference image, meaning you are going to take this same style that you put inside of this prompt and apply it to an image. So for this, I'm just going to create an image inside of mid journey and I already created one. So it's going to be a basketball. I just put basketball center floating in middle of screen HD realistic. So I'm just going to select this one and then I'm going to download this image just by clicking on download. Now from here, what I can do is go back into Adobe Firefly and then I can upload that structure or that image that we just downloaded. So I'm going to upload this image, click on continue, confirming that I have the rights to use this image. And then all I'm going to do is just upload it and we don't have to do anything else. And then if you want to, you can actually maximize the style strength just by uh, playing around with this toggle here which means that it's going to basically take 100% of the structure image and apply it to the best that it can to this prompt down here. So I'm going to click on generate and then you'll see how this works as it's going to basically take the prompt here and apply it to this image. Now, this is basically the first step. Now, obviously, we have multiple clips in a row that we're going to apply different styles to. So we need to basically reprompt this multiple times to get multiple images and then we can put them in a sequence using Adobe Premiere or CapCut or any other editing software. So we can see here that we got some. Now it took the reference from the airplane. So what we can do is just remove this to say, let's see, we'll just say remove the toy and just say made with felt and then just click on generate. Now, while this is doing this, I'm gonna go inside of ChatGPT because I already ran this prompt and basically you're just gonna say, please give me 20 detailed style prompts for AI image generation of a basketball. And here are the different style prompts that we can use inside of Adobe Firefly. So I have this one that I can use. Let's see what other ones I like. I like this one, the medieval one. So I'm going to copy this one as our first one. And I'm just going to uh, copy and paste that. I'm going to go back into Adobe Firefly. You can see here now we have some different versions of that particular image. We can even say remove the clouds, right? And maybe just do, so let me just remove this and just see what it comes with because it's basically trying to take that entire thing but you get the idea you can kind of just play around with the initial prompts and then modify it so while that's doing that i'm going to hit uh paste into the prompt from what we just copied from and now we got some new ones here they don't really hit the mark to be honest but that's okay because what we can do is just download this one so i'm going to download this one i'm going to say don't show this again i'm going to click on continue and now I'm going to do this again, but with a new prompt, but still using that same reference image. So I'm going to click on generate and it's going to generate. Now down here, there's another thing called style and visual intensity, which is basically the same thing as the prompts that you're entering here, but you can basically upload an image of another style, or you can also browse the gallery and apply a style, which I'll show you what it looks like in a moment here. So basically instead of using the prompt here, you would just use a style image here. These look really good. So let's see here. I think this one is my favorite just because of the lighting. So I'm gonna download that one and maybe we'll do like five. So we have five different images that we can uh, use. Okay, so now let's go back here just and play around with this style here because I did say I wanna explain how this works. So essentially you can upload an image, right? Or you can just select the ones from here. So let's just say I wanted that one. And then all I have to do is a basketball. I don't have to say this so i'll just say a basketball reimagined in that particular style and let's see what it generates so basically it's taking this style right and it's taking this reference image and applying it so again instead of using a prompt it's just taking reference from the image that you either upload or from the gallery that you browse here so here we go we got some really cool images in a similar style to this one 
I'm kind of liking, if I had to choose, I would probably choose uh, this one here. So let's go and download this one. And now let's go back to ChatGPT because we got three. So we, let's just say six and then see what we can come up with. So let's go back inside of ChatGPT. Remember we use this prompt to find different styles. I like this one too, the post-apocalyptic survivor. So in this case, I'm just going to remove this reference because we don't really need that anymore. Um, and then I'm just going to enter that new prompt and click on generate. So you can see how fun this can become. Like you can literally upload any type of image. Um, I could also, you know, go back inside of mid journey and select a different version of the basketball, right? Like I can select this one or I can select this one and play around with it, but you can get really creative with this, this particular style and tool. So this is really fun to be honest. <laughs> if I had to choose from these, I would choose this one. And let's go back to inside of ChatGPT, and let's see what other ones do we have. Let's see, basketball designed, ancient Egypt. Ooh, I like the vintage comic book. So let's do that one, and then we will select one more. So while that's generating, let's select one more. So let's see, Victorian era leather panels. That sounds cool. So let's do that one. Boom. So we got some really cool images here. I like this one. I like this one the best. So let's see, download. Okay, and then we got one more. So let's use that Victorian one and click on generate. Now, while that is generating, I'm gonna open up Premiere because basically I am going to start a new project. And this could be done in any type of editing software. So like DaVinci or CapCut, you get the idea. You can essentially use any editing software to uh, compile the clips essentially to make a really awesome video. Now I'm going to just get rid of this because this was an old project. And I'm just gonna add all these images that I so let's start with their original reference, right? So let's drag this onto our, let's zoom in here. So I'm just gonna drag this in. And again, this could be done in CapCut or anything. And I'm just gonna cut this into like one second. So let's look at the, so one second, that's the original one. And then we'll just repeat this process. So it's basically one second. It might be even too long. Yeah, so it needs to be even shorter than that. So probably like, yeah, like that's probably better. And then we'll, make this bigger so let's uh, scale this up and then we'll drag this and obviously I'm not being too precise here but you can take the time I don't want to make this video too long but you get the idea here and then we'll add this one and I'll just speed this up so let's just make that like that so let's see how fast this is okay so maybe we'll make them had longer maybe but overall we're getting somewhere okay and then we'll add this one next and we'll just get rid of this this is not an editing video but you get the idea and then we'll add I think I think this is the last one so let's see the last one here and then let's see so now we have a really cool rotating clip of videos this one might want to scale up like that. Pretty cool. And of course we can make these longer if we wanted to, but you get the idea. So now we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips that are in a very similar style, but they all have a different type of, you know, variations to them, which makes it really unique, especially for clips like this. So Adobe Firefly is a really awesome um, tool. And I think is something that more people should use, especially now that they release this new feature of styles and also the structure here. So that's it for this tutorial. I wanted to showcase this because it is really, really cool and really fun to play around with and just let your mind go free creatively. So that's it for this one. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when we drop a new video, we're going to be posting more content consistently. So you want to be notified when we drop the next video. That's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.